Well, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by uh, Karen Fletcher, who's Chief Engineer at uh, DuPont. Well, first of all, Karen, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. My pleasure. I'm happy to be here. Now, great. One of the big issues, everyone's talking about this all the time, is, is getting students you know, into companies and the importance to you know, great companies like uh, your own of, 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 of getting the kind of best talent. Based on your experience, mm -hmm. how does that transition kind of go? How ready are today's students to take a place at a company like yours? Mm -hmm. Well, it varies as you might expect. Uh, we see a big difference in students who come in who have some working experience. So internships, summer jobs, uh, co-op experiences, all really valuable. And we can see the difference when we have incoming uh, employees with some kind of experience, even even a um, you know a, an unpaid research internship, right. all really helpful. And what it does is it gives them some experience of what the work life environment is like and what to expect on day one. And they seem to get a jump if they come in with some hands on experience. It's really interesting. That's exactly what I say to my my own daughters uh -huh. <laughs> about in that stage of their development. Now, one yep. of the things we've been all talking about this week is how exciting engineering mm -hmm. is right now and how yes. engineering is at the heart of a lot of things. So what kind of careers can the, the folks here be looking forward to? Oh gosh, uh, I mean, it, it, there's so much exciting opportunity. So, so just through DuPont, we're working on some really large global challenges and they're all tied to population growth. So if you think about it, the world is adding 150,000 people additional a day. And so we're working on things like feeding a growing population, because if you think about it, uh, the, the number of acres to grow food is pretty well set. And yet we have a larger population to feed. So we're working on things like uh, seed, uh, improved seed technology, and, and growing crops on marginal acres, or growing crops where they're in water-challenged environments. So lots of opportunity in agriculture. Uh, we're also working on trying to move away from our dependence on fossil fuels right. and move to other sorts of renewable um, things. So whether it's uh, bio-based fuels uh, like cellulosic ethanol um, or even alternative uh, forms of making materials that don't start with fossil fuels but right. start with ag waste right. and so finding ways to make more renewable materials for the world. Um, DuPont's also active in the areas of protection. People might recognize brands like uh, Kevlar and Nomex uh, and so we're working with advanced materials on new applications, uh, in this case protecting people, protecting the environment. So, you know, long answer to your question, but, you know, students today can work on anything from, uh, you know, working to improve the environment to agriculture to alternative energy. Uh, uh, advanced materials, all kinds of things. A lot of exciting projects for them to Many. get their teeth yes, into. Yes, yes. Finally, Karen, you know, how important is it, do you think, in, in, in your eyes, that uh, for this interaction that uh, you know you'll be doing today to actually take place between uh, employers, between companies, and students? Oh, I, I think it's it's extremely important, and that's why I'm here. Uh, I think this interface. It's all about us receiving these students and having them well prepared and so that they can contribute uh, you know, in, in boundless ways. But it's also in us explaining you know, better what our needs are right. um, and working with the universities, but also K through 12 to get these students ready. Well, Karen, thank you ever so much. Oh, my us. pleasure. Appreciate Thanks it. for having me.